Hey, what's going on guys? Dana from ModBot here, and welcome to part four of the Annette A8 build. We're gonna be building the Z-axis and the LCD screen in this part, so let's go ahead and get into it. So you're going to need these six acrylic pieces along with the M318 screws and the M3 nuts, and you're basically just going to install them into each other. So it's gonna be, um, well, you can just see it pictured here. It's easier than trying to explain it via voice, but you're going to need one of the small circles on the outside left and one of the small circles on the outside right, just like I show you here in the video. As long as you've done that correctly, it just takes one or two screws, I guess, on each of the acrylic parts you're going to be assembling. And if you're having troubles getting the nuts into the nut trap, it really helps using either tweezers or needle nose pliers and then uh, using your left hand to keep the nut in while you use your right hand to kind of hand tighten it with the screw. Then we're going to go ahead and install those into the actual mainframe like I show in the picture here. The one you connected with the hole on the out, outside left is going to go to the left side and the one with the hole on the outside right is going to go on the right side. I do show that in a video here so hopefully you can understand that but basically you need one on the left and one on the right because um, shortly here we're going to install the smooth rods and uh, they need to go on the outside of both of the left and right on the z-axis. I had a little bit of a difficulty installing these into place which is why I flipped my machine over so it, it might take a little bit of work to get the nuts into the nut traps especially on that. Then we're going to take the two stepper motors for the z-axis along with the M3 12 screws. Um, each one is going to need four. You're also going to need the um, z-motor cables but basically you just install four screws in each. You don't need any nuts because the stepper motors have uh, threads and it'll screw right into place. And the easiest way to do this was to basically take left hand or right hand, whatever you are, and use one hand to lift up the motor and then use your other hand to hand tighten the screws in and then you can just clamp them down after the fact. Then we are gonna take this LCD screen along with its acrylic piece. We're gonna need the M3 by 30 screws. We're gonna need the M3 nuts and these little like nylon washer standoffs and just basically install them like I do here. You push the screw through in the front, then you use the small little standoffs. Then you put the LCD screen followed by one nut on each of the screws. Then you're gonna take the acrylic piece and lay that on top and then finally put one nut on the outside. Um, I think I'll end up swapping that out for an M3 lock nut down the line because these nuts seem to come loose after a little while and it's a little bit annoying. Um, but if you do clamp them down nice and tight, then hopefully it'll stay in place for you. But uh, I definitely think that M3 locking nuts will be a pretty good uh, replacement for those. Then we're gonna do the Z end stop. You're gonna need these two acrylic pieces, the actual Z end stop, M2 by 12 screws, two of them, and the M318 screws, two of them as well, along with the M3 nuts, which will install the actual acrylic piece with the end stop into the frame. For starters, you're just gonna go ahead and install the Z end stop using two of those M2 12 screws into one of those uh, acrylic pieces, just like I show here. Make sure you install it so that way the end stop is sticking up and that way when the axis drops down it will actually click the end stop and not the other way around. And then just use two of those M3 screws to stick the acrylic piece on the left side into the frame and lock it into place. Then we're going to install these tabs. So you're going to need the two acrylic pieces, two M3 18 screws and two nuts and you're going to install them on the top left and right just like we did for the Y axis in the last video. Then you're going to take these two 3D printed parts along with the other two uh, shorter smooth rods, not the longer ones. And you're basically going to install one on the left, one on the right, and um, just install the 3D printed parts like I show here. Once you're done with that, you're going to basically just tighten down those little 3D printed tabs which will keep the smooth rod in place. Again, just like we did with the Y, uh, the y axis, nothing new here. After that, we are going to grab our lead screws and they're basically just going to slide in one on the left, one on the right, down through that like brass nut and into the little motor attachment. You're gonna need an Allen key to basically loosen the screw on the motor attachment and then tighten it down on the lead screws. So that way when you turn the motor, it'll turn the lead screw. And you have successfully installed your Z-axis. So in the next video, we are going to be working on the X-axis and we are getting very, very close to actually having this thing up and doing the electrical and uh, getting it printing. So thank you for staying tuned. Hopefully this is helping you out at least a little bit. Don't forget to smack the like button. And as always, thank you so much for watching. This has been Dana from ModBot and I will see you in the next video. Peace guys.